Well, welcome back to another episode of uh, Fishing with Fidel here. Um, today is Thursday. It's been a couple days since I was last fishing at uh, mm, Lake in Greenbelt, Greenbelt Lake. And I caught some very nice size uh, rainbow trout. Uh, if you don't know, it's now uh, kind of like the uh, beginning stages of trout season where uh, local, uh, well, the Maryland is uh, stocking trout through our various um, streams, uh, lakes, different bodies of water. And um, I had the pleasure of having some success uh, this past Saturday in catching stock trout um, using a power bait. Well, today, uh, well, this evening rather, I'm going to uh, um, prepare them and, and eat them. Just finished uh, working out at the gym, and there's nothing like some good protein and some fish. So um, I'm going to get that underway, and um, I want you to come ride along with me on this one. Um, um, trout are not really scaly fish. Uh, they're bony, but not really scaly. So uh, scaling them shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, I finally am um, done scaling, so now I am uh, about to clean them up. And I am going to fry these fish if I didn't say so earlier. Make sure we get all this stuff out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to season it before I batter it. Um, and I'm only going to be, I'm keeping it pretty basic. Um, I want, um, I love uh, season all and I love Old Bay. Uh, I may throw a hint of uh, garlic in it. So, go to Old Bay, season all. Old Bay, season all. And uh, I remember last time I, uh, when I was in uh, St. Cunningham Falls and I was heavy handed with the seasoning. So I'm just keeping it light. Mm. OK, 
Okay. Looking good. Let's see. We'll be drinking this uh, Moscato here. Could you repeat that again? Yes. Um, your fish is a white, flaky, buttery texture. Um, so your white ones, whether you like it dry or whether you like it sweet, would pair well. Preference. Um, but you can do whatever you prefer. But typically you're doing fish with white ones, red meat with reds, and the things of that sort. Mm. Okay. Let's pop the next one. Well, we're finally done. Got all four of them. Ready to roll. That's what you want. You may even look like a greedy person with a big old plate. <laughs> Thank you. You may even look like a greedy person with a big old plate. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Now it's the test, taste test time, and uh. Lake trout, I mean, excuse me, rainbow trout. Which I've not had in, since I was a teen. Or maybe younger than that, longer than that. Okay, that's flaky. It's very soft, the, 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 the meat is soft, very soft. And that takes, it's kind of similar to catfish to me. This flaky is on. Um, you cooked it very well. It's like a crunchy meal. Not bad. And so far as with the bones in it, I haven't had to take any bones out. Kind of similar to salmon in its taste. Kind of similar to it to me. Mm. Yeah, the the um, the, con the texture and the, the taste, the consistency of the the texture of it, of the meat. Mm -hmm. 
is my mom's mint sour lemon. Season it on. Right on. Well, folks, there you have it. This concludes another episode. Uh, the fish is pretty good. Um, pretty good. It, you can definitely tell that it was fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stay tuned for another episode. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to try to get out this weekend. Um, Lake Centennial. <clears throat> and um, I hope I have some video to, to show for it. Thanks for uh, viewing my channel. Those that have subscribed. Um, leave comments comment section um, until next time keep it fishing <laughs>